Kimberly from Stoneworthy. Um, I am coming to you today from the Glam Cave. And it's a space that we've just recently updated. Um, it was pretty horrible when we first moved in seven years ago. And um, over the years, we did a bit of work to it just to make it sort of habitable and livable. And then just recently, as you'll know, we um, completely uh, redid the decor in here and it's looking a lot more sexy now. So um, what I wanted to do is I just thought today, since it's been such a long time since I filmed a video, I thought I would welcome you into the man cave and give you a little tour around. Now one of the things that people are always seem to be confused about when they come into my home is where the man cave actually is or the glam cave. So I thought one of the things that I wanted to show you is how we actually get down here and where this sort of secret staircase actually is. So if you want to see a little more on the glam cave um, and you want to see where it is in our house then please keep watching. So you're probably already familiar with our dining room, which we um, remodeled uh, last year sometime. And beyond that door way, as you can see, is our kitchen. So if I back up a little bit here, you can see that where the television and the console unit is, it actually sits between two doors. So the door that you're seeing on your left actually goes out into the hallway, and the door on the right is the door to the cellar. So we're going to come around here. We are going to open this door. And what do we have here? So what we have here is essentially a coat closet, which is not exactly exciting, I realize. Um, and you may be wondering why I'm showing you the inside of our coat closet. But the reason is because if we turn on the lights and we look down, you will see that the coat closet actually leads down to the cellar. So that's where we're going to head next, down the stairs. So I wish that we didn't have to have this here, obviously, but this is um, the reality of life. Um, we do have the cat litter tray and their food there on the left, um, and that is a dehumidifier, which we do tend to run um, pretty much all summer long. When the radiator is on, we probably don't really need it because it dries the air naturally, but otherwise in the summer when it's a bit damp, then we run a dehumidifier. So that lovely palm and that fabulous um, painting sort of distracts a little bit from the fact that we've got to have some kitty paraphernalia. So as you walk down the stairs, you will see you are now overlooking the bulk of the living area of this man cave. But if I can come down around here as well, you'll notice then there is a new door, a new louver door that we've just added there. And behind that door is um, basically all of paint and DIY equipment and things like that that we've used and basically have just stuck in there over the years. So it's a bit of a mess. This is why I'm not showing it to you. So anyway, let's swing around. So as you can see, this is the man cave. Um, we had painted it very, very dark, as you can see, both the ceiling and the walls are all painted in Faro Ball's tanner brown, Tanner's Brown. Um, you can see on this side as well that we've got some under, under stair storage. Um, there's a clock there on the side as well. Um, we've got some faux plants and of course these are the Star Wars prints that everyone <laughs> seems to love. Um, I actually quite like them myself. I just think they're very cool. Um, and in our future house, there's a very good chance that these will go in a place other than the man cave. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. So coming down, and we also have uh, our little sofa that we've had a number of years from made.com. The cushions that you see here are from West Elm from over the summer. That middle one is from Anthropology that I got last year. The throw I've literally had for years. Um, that plant is from Blooming Artificial and the planter is from West Elm. And that plant in the corner, which I love, is from Mia Fleur. Um, and the planter again is West Elm. 
that lovely light fitting is um, from made.com. You will see that there's a couple of plug sockets which probably didn't make the pictures. Um, not really hiding anything, just telling you that we haven't yet gotten the chance to cut. We wanted to make little covers for them so that you can see them because they do stick out like a sore thumb, but you know, it's almost there. So as I swing around, you will see there's another cupboard there that we had from before, but that plant is kind of covering it up. It's just being used for storage. Um, and again, that under the stairs storage, um, again, covered by louver doors. So you can kind of see here what the layout is with the new open plan. If I swing around here, you will see the fabulous unit from the um, from Swoon Editions, along with a large television and then our unit from Ikea and then if I swing around again you can see that there's another set of doors that hides our radiator so and in this corner is the fabulous um, mirror from Mirror Deco that we got um, which I'll link to in my post as well and the fabulous chair from also from made.com and the rug. So, now that you've seen the whole thing, hi Keto, now that you've seen the whole thing, um, I hope you like it. Please give the video a thumbs up and please subscribe. Thank you.